Hey guys, hey. <clears throat> How are you guys are doing? Today is actually still Tuesday, but owie. I'm in the car while Matthew was running. I went and did a lap and I'm sad. <laughs> I'm like, no bueno, imui caca. Um, so I'm going to be signing up for French, uh, like one semester of French to see, you know, if me and Matthew like it. Um, so I think we're, we're signing up for the fall semester, giving him the summer off and then starting in the fall. And then I think education is really important. I think that you should always strive to educate yourself like all the time. Like you should always be wanting to learn more in life. I just, I feel that way. I feel like you should always want to understand things and you should always strive to really want to talk and um, get to know uh, more of what the world has to offer. So I really want to go ahead and do this with him. I think it'll be fun. Um, him and I going to college together is going to be something that we can really build on. I like that too. I like the, the thought of him and I spending more time together and like having him homework together and speaking French together. Told you guys, never go anywhere without a drink. I got that tea. Oh, somebody asked me the other day about water enhancers. Um, I'm super particular I'm super particular so right now the only one that I'm willing to drink is the Arizona Arnold Palmer and I drink it in the uh, powder form so I put the powder in my drink this is a 30 ounce I believe it's a 30 ounce are you 30 ounce damn thing's so cheap it doesn't even tell me I'm I'm pretty sure this is a 30 ounce so I put one packet in 30 ounces of water and then I add an exorbitant amount of true lemon probably more lemon than anybody else would want it's probably more lemon than there is tea or water in that drink but that's what I like it's good for your pH for your um, your stomach lemons a good diuretic uh, it, is, it just is what it is I have a fever so if you're wondering why I'm all red meats um, I'm, I'm running a low grade fever what can you do Thursday I keep mentioning this because people are going to ask on Thursday what happened why don't you feel good what's going on so I'm just mentioning it when I'm going to mention it every day until Thursday I have my um, radio frequency libation for my my spine meats um, I am excited -y, not excited I mean it is what it is so hopefully I'll be getting a lot of um, pain relief just from that and then I won't have to rely on any pain medication or anything now uh, so he says that I should get if we're really lucky about 50% less than what I'm having so if, if my pain on a really bad day is an 8 or a 9 which means I'm being mauled by a bear then I should be being mauled by a cub instead so I mean you know like like a cat or a raccoon is like mowing my face meats instead of a, a polar bear so yeah I'll take it <laughs> I'll take it girl um, as you can see I got a replacement for Michael Caine because somebody done stalled my old one um, it does help it takes a little bit of pressure off my meats uh, I'm doing okay guys my weight is at a standstill right now um, which means that I probably need to switch up what I'm eating uh, just to get back to where I was. I'm still 310. I want to get down to 300 and it means sacrifices. Like a lot of times when people are like, oh, I don't know why I'm losing, not losing weight. Or I don't know why I'm stalling. Look to what you're putting in your gullet. See if you're moving around enough. Um, watch your salt up your water that's pretty much all you can really really do is work out walk if you can't work out you know get up and off your chair 50 times if you can't walk you know do the best you can in general um you know watch your salt intake because salt makes you um retain water 
find out how many carbs you're shoving in. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, how many calories in, calories out type of deal. So it looks like I'm going to have to make some more sacrifices and maybe dump my calories down a bit more just to see what I'm able to, to do. So Matthew's still walking the track and I thought I'd get on here for a few minutes and just yammer with you guys while I had some time because I'm not feeling good. I've got to go pick up dog food. Um, <laughs> I gotta go pick up some groceries so that means that I've gotta go walk around the grocery store I'm not looking forward to that I don't like to use the the carts unless I absolutely have to and I know people are gonna be like but Nirvana you, you know you have a cane and I'm like that doesn't mean that I still don't need to walk just because I can you know feasibly use a wheelchair or I could feasibly use a cart or something like that doesn't mean I should doesn't mean that I want to because I don't um, any bit of movement is better than none for somebody like me and uh, I live a pretty sedentary lifestyle at the moment because I'm in a ridiculous amount of pain so that's kind of how I feel about that I would rather get any movement um, than have a none and I got my good old Fitbit going on here um, I've been taking uh, so those pain patches I don't know if I've mentioned it or not um, hi, 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 my husband's waving at me, hi, hello, hello, hi, a weirdo, so, <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing, but, um, what was I saying, oh yeah, those pain patches didn't do shit, so I'll talk to him on Thursday, which means that I've got to suck it up until Thursday because I don't want to go to the ER. Um, because if you walk into the ER and be like, hey, I'm in pain, I need more pain medication, then they're going to be like. So I'd rather just suck it up buttercup until I go and see him on Thursday. Um, I'm also picking up. Um, more out of van because I'm out and, and uh, talking to my doctor about more flexoreal uh, because I think I might need a better muscle relaxant so I might she might not want to she might want to switch hello she might want to switch to something else um, to see how it will work for me because I've been on 10 milligrams of flexoreal three times a day for a long ass time and I think it'd be better in, in general if I could use something else all right, I'll probably put this with an excerpt for tomorrow. I should be going live tomorrow because it is Wednesday. I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces, and I will talk to you very, 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 very soon. Mwah. Guten Tag, man, friends. How you guys are doing? Today is Wednesday. It's hump <laughs> day, and I am... It's all right. <laughs> Today's... Nah, whatever. Um... So tomorrow is my procedure, and I'm just like, okay, all right, let's get this over with. Tonight, 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 me and chemistry queen, uh, Lauren, are going to go live at 6. And I hope so, because of her. <laughs> um, so me and, sorry, I've got text messages from her in the middle of it. So her and I will be going live on you now and on YouTube at 6 o'clock PST. That is California time. She is also in California, so it, it makes it easier for us. So I'm super excited. Um, she doesn't do live very often. And I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to chill. Just trying to relax. Trying to, you know. Believe it or not, going live is not easy. <laughs> It is not like uh, the Google Hangouts like I did long, long time ago where, you know, we had like 10 people watching. Like this shit, I've got like, I've, I've got, I've got some people watching me. <laughs> so I got a lot of questions to answer, a lot of fun stuff. You know, I really, I actually really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, Chemistry Queen will be with me tonight. And I'm, I'm really happy. I'm going to be watching, not that anybody really cares, but I've had, um, there was a boy, a strange enchanted boy. 
Yeah, I've got that in my head. I woke up. You ever wake up with a song in the morning? Or just a, you, you just kind of pops in your head for a few minutes and then you're like, ah, I have to either listen to the entire soundtrack because one song ain't good enough for me, girl. Or I have to watch the entire movie. So I'll just end up watching the entire movie and then I won't watch the movie. I'll end up listening to it while I fuck up on my computer. So that's how I roll in my house. I love musicals. I've told you guys that many, many times before. I love, love musicals. Speaking of musicals, on the 25th, my mother-in-law bought me Phantom of the Opera tickets, and I, I can't wait. Um, I can't wait. I'm, I'm so excited to go. Um, she's like, oh, it's casual dress. I'm like, bitch, I'm going to fucking Phantom of the Opera. I'm not going to sit there in blue jeans and a damn t-shirt. I want to look pretty. I want to look real much nice. I want to, I want to look really good. Well, yeah, so I may even wear my pokey dot dress that I got uh, two years ago, which is way too big for me. But don't you judge me. It's only way too big for me in the chesticle area because I have none. Wah, wah, wah. And then it used to not fit my arms, and, and now I could sausage my arms in there, so that's always nice. And then people are like, why do you keep clothing that is not your size? I'm like, because... I don't know. Like, what? What? I I don't even know what to say about that. I, because I like it. Like, this dress is my red polka dot dress, which I think is absolutely gorgeous, and it looks really good on me. I just need to stuff my bra. That's <laughs> with a lot. Like, I need to take like cans of stuff, like this can of. I'm just gonna put like this can one, and then I'll go back to Costco and get another one and put it here, and then we'll be like, okay, no. Space titties. Space titties. I wouldn't... I do not want boobs that look like a can of peanuts. Sometimes Nirvana... Uh, I don't even get what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I had questions yesterday, which I will talk about today. One lady asked, um, vitamins, what can you take with iron? Okay, there... It, it is all really really up to your surgeon and what he believes i am a big proponent of lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of research and i like to look at all the i like to look at all the research that i can find that suggests can you take this with this does this really work you know because back in the day they told you eggs were terrible for you now people are eating nothing but fucking eggs like you know the people went on that egg white kick and they never ate yellow uh the the yolks they never ate any of the damn yolks because uh, too much cholesterol now it's good cholesterol now you know what i'm saying so years go by new studies are shown people who are smarter than the people of the past of like you know are thinking new in different ways i like that i like to know that you know things are different so when you're asking what bit what i'm trying to calm myself just relax nirvana so what vitamins you can take with iron my surgeon believes that you can still take the multivitamins with iron in them at the same time um i do not take so this top layer right here is is my iron and i don't take my iron with coffee i because it, it stops the absorption i don't take it with tea i take it with straight water so i take my iron in the in the very wee this moment i crack open my my eyes i take this or i'll take it in the middle of the night if i happen to wake up in the middle of the night and i can't sleep i will i'll take this um, otherwise, you know, cause I have, I have all the other stuff that I got to take in the morning and I don't want to take them together because I really want the iron to have a chance to absorb the best I can. So I would not take it with calcium. Um, that, but again, that's, that's just, it's, that's personal preference. I would really talk to your, to your surgeon about that. And another lady, um, said that she's got fibromyalgia and that, um, you know, she doesn't know what surgeries to get. Okay, girl, you and I, let's, let's get on the same page here. So I know plenty of people. My mama has fibromyalgia. They keep telling me that I do, but we ain't going to go there. 
Um, my friend Alicia's got fibromyalgia. We, my friend Lindsay. Like, there's all kinds of people who have had the VSG and who've had the gastric bypass, and they still have fibromyalgia. So it doesn't take it away. It doesn't matter if you have a DS. It doesn't matter if you have the lap band. It doesn't matter if you have, um, you know, if they stapled your stomach. You know, it doesn't matter what surgery you're going to get. You're still, it's, it doesn't take that away. It's still there. You know, it, it's a nerve disorder. That's not something that's just going to magically poof. It's gone because you had surgery. So if you're worried about the medicines that you're taking now, it doesn't matter if you have the sleeve. It doesn't matter if you have the DS. It doesn't matter if you have the gastric bypass. They still tell you you can't take NSAIDs. So that is going to be personal preference for you. You're going to have to decide, you know, but I guarantee you having that weight off your body is going to feel a lot better and you might not need near as much medication as you're taking now. And, you know, there are all kinds of different medications on the market. There's Cymbalta, there's Lyrica, there's uh, Gabapentin. I know that those are three that people use for uh, fibromyalgia. I don't know. Uh, I don't take any of that stuff. Um, I would say go to Lindsay's channel, maybe talk to her about it. Maybe go to Alicia's channel, talk to her about it. Um, both of them, different surgeries. So, I'm not sure, honey. I would definitely um, opt for surgery if you need it. But neither one of them, you know, it's kind of on the same page with that. Excuse me. So, excuse me again. I made a different brand of coffee and I hate it and one of my dogs is having a nightmare over there and I'm not about to scream you know to wake them up because I'm on camera oh that's so hot look that's how hot I like my coffee so I think that's all I, I have to say because I have an excerpt of what I was talking about stuff last night while I was in the car waiting for my hubby that I will add to this. So I love you beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I really do hope that everybody's having a wonderful day and I will talk to some of you tonight at 6 o'clock PST if you show up. Mm -hmm. Bye.